I love you, Chloe. A few words from it's William Mozingo Jr. before police take him to jail. Moments earlier, police broke down a door and rescued Chloe Jones. She carefully crawled down a ladder from a plywood platform atop a garage. He would cuddle her in between beatings. Jesse Barham says Mozingo beat her daughter with a baseball bat and his fists and threatened to slit her throat. He doused her in gasoline and was threatening to catch her on fire. Chloe didn't feel comfortable yet speaking about what happened. Her mother shared a picture of Chloe before and showed me photos of her blackened eyes swollen shut. Barham says her daughter had been missing for four days. She called from the hospital. She said that she had been abducted and she she said that she had a broken arm and um, her face had fractures. Police body camera shows the garage behind a home on 11th Street Southwest in Akron. William, this is the Akron Police Department. This is your last chance. Come out now with your hands up. The woman who lives there called 911 saying Mozingo and the woman were discovered by her husband five hours earlier. I need to warn the people, the police that are coming here. You need to warn them about what? Well, he is a violent offender. She called Mozingo their good friend. He used to live here. He paroled here at one time before he went back. The homeowner declined an interview but claims she met the young woman on more than three occasions. Chloe told me she'd never been there before. Had a conversation online. She was going to go to uh, go and hang out with him. She actually, I found out that she got a ride to his place. Mozingo had been in prison three times for kidnapping twice in Stark County. He also spent time at Lorraine Correctional for drug possession. His two-year probation for that started in April. My daughter's never going to be the same. Her life as she knows it is over because he was allowed to walk out in the streets and there's no, that is not acceptable.